Yo, what's up? In this video, I will compare the charging curve on the e-tron 50 versus the e-tron 55. So uh, let me explain it a bit. Okay, the e-tron 55 has a 95 kilowatt hour battery and uh, the e-tron 50 has 71 kilowatt hour battery. Yes, the naming convention is really confusing. What is 55? What is 50? Well, apparently it's something with Audi. Uh, very traditional stuff, I guess, that uh, the number 50, 55 uh, relates to the performance of it or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't even relate to uh, the, the engine size or anything. So, all right, anyway, let's take a look here. So, uh, we start at 10%. Well, actually, yeah. Start running at 10%. Uh, the, the top one is the, the e-tron 55 and then the bottom is the e-tron 50. And you see right away that the e-tron 50 actually goes up to 126 kilowatt. By specification, it only goes up to 120. Uh, and you also see another thing is that uh, to the right there and bottom, that's the charging screen for the e-tron 50. And you see it, it hovers at 128 kilowatt. And why is that? Well, uh, the HVAC was on, so that sucks about one kilowatt extra. And then there is a little bit of he uh, heat loss between uh, the charger and uh, the battery. Well, basically the battery is heating up uh, during the charging session, uh, charging process, and that that's the that difference roughly. Okay, uh, you see that um, uh, right at the bottom, uh, the e-tron 50 uh, actually goes up faster than the 55 because naturally it's a smaller battery. So it gets a, a kind of like a slight lead, but you also see that the range on these cars are somewhat low. Um, but okay, the 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 e-tron e 55 uh, has about 20% more range, so you also have to keep that in mind. But uh, also, you see, yeah, you probably noticed that um, the the 50 uh, has really low range, right? Okay, this is gum range based on highway hammering, right? I think I was cruising at around 125 kilometers per hour and then the GOM adjusted for it. So here you actually see the real world uh, winter range, yes, for the 50. So I'm um, not sure what else to say. Uh, you see that overall uh, the 55 is charging faster than the 50 as expected. Um, uh, there's one thing though I, I should point out is that, uh, you know, uh, when you are charging uh, an e-tron on the fast charger, uh, the e-tron can pull extra power from the charger when you put on the heater. So uh, not many EVs will do that. Most EVs, uh, if you're if the car can charge at 100 kilowatt, for example, and you turn on the heater, it will suck power from the. It's like it's like a serial design. You know, whatever goes goes into the battery, all right, and then the HVAC pulls from the battery, basically. But e-tron can do some kind of bypass, some parallel uh, stuff that it pull extra power just for the heater. And only, as far as I know, only Model 3 will do that. All the other cars, if you have a rapid gating leaf charging at 20 kilowatt and you fire up the heater and you, you suck two kilowatt, then only 18 kilowatt will go into the battery. Yeah, anyway, okay, um, you see now that uh, when the stereo charge is higher, then uh, the e-tron 55 is still charging at fairly high speed, whereas the 50, uh, it starts to throttle. Uh, naturally, with a smaller battery, this happens. And also, I should point out something else, is that um, it was somewhat cold in the in the case of the 50, uh, but uh, I did heat up the battery properly. You have to drive at highway speed, motorway speed, for for at least half an hour, uh, maybe even one hour before it, it properly heats up. So when I tried to drive slower, I, when I did the range test, driving at 90 kilometers per hour, and it was around zero, then uh, it I didn't get this charging curve. So this is actually take two of the charging session for the 50. In the first charging session, it was around 10 kilowatt lower uh, in the bottom. So um, you see now towards the end, the 55 is still getting pretty good speed, whereas the 50 is starting to slow down. And uh, you know, this is actually a very good case where um, if you want to leap between uh, these uh, Ionity chargers in the 55, you can you can still do that, you know, uh, because you have good range. And you still charge faster than you would get at the 50 kilowatt fast charger. Whereas in the 50, you see at this point, it goes kind of slow, only 30 kilowatts. So, you know, you might be considering, considering mm, what about if you need to go far and there is no uh, high power charger or no, or no Ionity, does it uh, pay off to visit a 50 kilowatt fast charger? 
Um, probably it depends, but in my general rule of thumb for me is that charge to at least 95%, 90, 95 to 97, maybe 100% might not be worth it for you um, if time matters. But of course, if you're not sure, then you can still go to 100% because this took 43 minutes for the 50 and it took 41 minutes for the 55. So there's only a two minute difference between the 50 and the 55 when it comes to charging time. But again, keep in mind that the, um, uh, the range of the 50 is 20% lower than the 55. So um, now let's look at again uh, something else here. This is the charging power, the, the curve, uh, yes. So uh, you see that um, again um, the, the 50 actually delivers more than the specification. That's pretty nice and this is this is actually the, the power going into the battery because we saw it in the charging screen that that was before the losses. Uh, so good stuff man. Um, and you see that also the, the 50 has a fairly flat curve, but you see that it's not as flat as the 55. So this is also something you have to consider when you consider the, the 50 versus 55. And if you look at the next uh, chart here, this is um, C rating. So C rating is, you know, the, the, the amount of power you're charging the battery at versus the, the total capacity of the car. So if you're charging at 95 kilowatt, at the 95 kilowatt hour battery, then that's C rating one, you know? And you see that um, the e-tron 50 actually has a more aggressive charging uh, at the bottom. And then at around 65%, then uh, the, the, the 55 takes over. So what well, really confusing with these names, man, 5550. They should have called it the e-tron long range. Okay, okay, maybe not Tesla. The e-tron, the e how about the e-tron turbo and the e-tron uh, standard, something like that. <laughs> um, or the e-tron schnell and the e-tron uber schnell, yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, so what does this mean then? Well, this is actually, this is a good thing because um, it means that uh, the e-tron 50 has a more aggressive charging curve at the bottom. Uh, so, you know, uh, when I did the 1000 kilometer challenge, I tried to arrive with about 5% and then you get pretty good charging speed. And then uh, I guess at around 65%, it starts to slow down a little bit. So in most cases for me, the best deal was to charge, to uh, try to arrive at 5% and then charge about 70, 65, 70% and then charge more often. But that, that's the case if you are in a rush. So if you don't care too much, then it's no big deal to charge to even 90 or 100% as you've seen in the charging uh, screen. So yeah, um, and okay, what should I say then? Uh, if you want to buy a 50, you know, because the 50, my mistake, by the way, in the previous video, the 50 starts at 500,000, not 600,000. The 600,000 is advanced sport, which includes lots of goodies. Uh, but of course, if you go for the cheapest, uh, the base strip down uh, e-tron 50, it starts at 500,000, then I don't think you even get uh, turn signals as standard. So, you know, it's really basic. Um, but okay, so should you get the 50? Or should you get the 55? Well, it boils down to how far you drive, how fast you want to drive, and I guess uh, how many fast chargers you have in your country. So in general, um, if, you know, if you drive far, often, uh, and if you don't uh, want to stop for charging, then you should get the 55. It will cost you more, but yeah, you have more range and you have faster charging speed. But if um, if you don't drive that often on long trips or whatever, or, or if you don't mind taking a, a short short pit stop, then the 55, uh, the, no, sorry, the 50 is a pretty good deal because it costs so much less. And when I drove the 50 on the various trips I have, I feel like, you know, it still had the premium Audi feel, you know, it still rides just like the 55. It was still quiet. It had the old, uh, the, the Bang & Olufsen uh, audio system, you know. Uh, okay, it didn't have the panorama roof, but I don't care too much about that one. So basically, when you're driving uh, the 55 versus the 50, it's more or less the same car, you know. It's not like you're losing out on something really important, no. Uh, if you want some equipment, you can also always check that and get whatever you want in the 50 also. Uh, but basically, you just have a smaller battery. That's it. And okay, the car weighs a little bit less. So um, 
uh, if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of comfort to take a few charging stops, then, you know, that's the best deal for you. Yeah, go for the 50. Yeah. So, anyway, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.